my hoard. Okay, so you're not seeing my face right now, uh, which is unusual for my videos, but this is super spur of the moment. I just decided to film this or right this second when I got home from this shopping trip, as you can see, I went to Ross and I bought several organizing supplies. We're gonna do a brief little haul, and then the idea is that I am then gonna show you what I did with these organizational tools. Um, so first off, obviously, I got these um, multi-clip hangers. I like these for keeping entire costumes together. Uh, in in my burlesque area, um, <laughs> which um, I imagine they'd be really great for cosplayers too, which is half what I do anyway. I do a lot of cosplay burlesque. Um, but yeah, I like them for keeping like one entire costume like all on the same hanger, so you can just grab it and go. Um, and I only have two others of these, cause, so I just finally bought a couple more, and no, it's not like enough, but you know, you start somewhere, you work within your current budget. Um, I have I have a complete matching set of these uh, organizer things, of these hanging organizers. Uh, I have the, they're all shoe organizers technically. Uh, I have the like little 24 pocket one. This has these, um, it has this cute like eye, eyelash motif going on. I think does it hang upside down? I don't know. Um, it's got this cute little pink and eyelashes, and I uh, really was drawn to that, and I found this whole set of matching stuff. Um, but this is actually going to go in my bathroom uh, for cleaning supplies. Um, the the uh, small, there's, there's a wide one and a less wide one. Narrow is the word I'm looking for. Oh my god. <laughs> um, the, the narrow one is going to be for my show shoes in the closet. The large one I may or may not use in this apartment, but I thought um, having having the nice full set um, to tr travel on into wherever we live next um, would just be super cute, so I bought it anyway. <laughs> um, and I also bought some this is more difficult one-handed than I thought it would be. That's fine. Um, so, obviously bags everywhere. Um, these hangers, this 10 pack of these cute little glitter hangers because I have so many costume pieces and just not enough hangers. Uh, so, we're gonna put, I'm gonna put some stuff on those probably. Definitely, why would I say probably? Anyway, whatever. And then this last bag has, I'm not 3,000% sure what I'm gonna do with this storage bin, uh, but it's adorable. It was, let's see, $2.99. Um, <laughs> and similar things. Uh, their listed value is like $6, but I've definitely seen like similar baskets for eight even. So $2.99 is nice. Um, I will definitely find something to do with that. I have a couple of ideas what I might do with it. It's all based on what works out well. And the last thing I bought is not actually organizational at all. It is a problem I have where I am just love towels with cute stuff on them. So these are some of their Valentine Day, Valentine's Day dish towels. And they say I love you soy much and they have cute little sushis and a happy soy sauce on there um, and I I decided not to resist or I literally couldn't because I have control issues I don't know you pick um, but don't tell me because I don't want to know what you pick uh, especially not if it's I just have control issues anyway um I will I will come back to you with with those in this video with those updates on how I utilized all of these. Okay, so it is a few days later and I have finished all the projects um that I bought the organizers for. So here's me sharing what I did. First off, we have the door hanger here, and like I told you, I have that on the bath back back of the bathroom door here. 
and I've just got uh, all our various cleaning supplies with room to grow. <laughs> um, that's just super convenient there for me. And uh, that that nice little basket actually ended up down here uh, to help with further organizing all of this in my under under sink space in the bathroom here. Um, as you can see, I have like one little basket back there that's got some like beauty supplies. Uh, this kind of has a theme to it as well. So yeah, just having having stuff in the basket just makes it actually easier to pull out. I did have all that stuff just stacked under there. Uh, so of course when you wanted to get to something at the back, you would have to pull out all the things in the front. But now you just, as already demonstrated, uh, just have to do that. There's, a, there's still a little more work that could be done in here, I think. But um, I do have a little bit of a too much stuff situation. So that might just need to be condensed, but I am not in a place where I feel like getting rid of any of this yet. So that won't be happening just yet. And last we're here in the magical closet realm. Ooh. Uh, uh, as you can see, here is my shoe rack. And it is full now. It's actually got a couple pairs of my husband's shoes as well, but these are pretty much all show shoes. Um, not these. I haven't worn these in a long time, but I really love these, like, wedge sneakers, uh, so I haven't gotten rid of them yet. So they're in there. Uh, but a lot of these, like these, um... <laughs> This is so funny. These are Paris Hilton brand shoes, and I they're so cute, and I love them. And I, like, literally got them at TJ Maxx one time, and I, I usually would not necessarily... <laughs> I wouldn't... I certainly wouldn't go out of my way to ever buy something Paris Hilton branded, you know what I mean? But... I just, I loved them and already wanted them and then read that they were Paris Hilton and I was like, all right, fine. I guess I own some Paris Hilton shoes now because they were like 20 bucks. They were a really reasonable price for, for what they are, especially considering they're a label and all that. Um, yeah, just some old sneakers I haven't gotten rid of yet, although... Now that I've got a camera up on it and I realize these are pretty gross, maybe I will just throw those out, uh, cause those are, <laughs> those are getting pretty gross. Uh, and all of this was in the past, just right down here in this corner, um, which, you know, has already filled back up, but now it's, it's boxes of stuff instead of, I know it's very dark in here, I'm sorry I didn't bring a light in, I should have brought my little selfie ring, um, but this, this actually is boxes of uh, costume pieces, and actually these are my wedding shoes. Um, so, so that's at least like organized, stacked boxes of things, uh, instead of just random shoes which kept getting squished and all of that. Um, so overall, this, there's progress in this corner. <laughs> As you can see, it's still it's still kind of messy back here. Um, there's a lot of work to go before this is really fully organized. Um, and the last thing, the last thing I worked on was actually uh, my costumes. And it's you can see here. There we go. Uh, that uh, I added. I actually exchanged. Um, some of the hangers that things were on that maybe weren't as good or just, you know, I wanted the sparkly hangers on my sparkly items. Uh, so I exchanged a lot of hangers and now I actually have extra hangers for my everyday clothes, uh, which are on the opposite side of the closet here. But yeah, you can see that I did that. Um, so... And I actually, when I, while I was doing that, took the opportunity, not only did I sort of try to re, recollect things, like sometimes things are, um, certain costumes I have 
are actually hung across mul multiple hangers. Um, this this wasn't true, but uh, like this instance, this um, this vest and this shirt actually go together. But um, uh, say the shirt was it had moved uh, over time away from the vest, and I moved them back together. Uh, it wasn't that exact uh, thing, but a couple of things were like that, and I did that. Um, and and some things uh, got an additional hanger because they were really all on one hanger and they shouldn't have been or any of that kind of thing um, going on. Uh, I haven't so much put these in a specific order, like they're not... Uh, currently some of my older costumes are to the front and some of my newer costumes are towards the back, but that's not 100% true and that's not necessarily exactly how I want to organize them. Um, but there's, there's the beginnings of a system. And uh, here is that multi-clip multi, multi -clip hanger. Um, oop, don't tilt the camera. <laughs> that's bad. Um, so this is, this is my part of my Sailor Moon costume. Uh, my Sailor Moon act there, and uh, these actually had were not on a hanger at all. They were in a pile, uh, so this is a vast improvement for this costume. Um, I chose I chose to use one of the clip hangers for this because this is one of the ones with just several parts because I made I made so many parts that come apart, <laughs> um, and then and then there is right in front of here the the dress the overdress for that costume, uh, which does need to be hemmed, which I actually, while I was going through, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I wrote down a list of repairs I need to do to my costumes or things I never finished. Like, um, I'm really bad about hemming uh, my, my costume pieces. So like the Sailor Moon dress, doesn't have a hem and it would definitely need to be hemmed before I could ever perform this again because obviously this like ragged fabric down here looks terrible um, and I would not want to put that on on stage to represent myself um, and I yeah so I just I have a list of that and like stuff that I specifically want to update things that are missing and need to be replaced like I broke um, I performed my Misty Act um, this week, and I actually, there's a, there was a hole in the gloves I usually use for this, um, and so I just, I had to throw them out, they're just some, like, cheap crap lace gloves, um, and I just wrote down that, like, I need new gloves for that act. Um, trying to find where that other multi-clip, ah, yes, this was the other costume that did not, <laughs> that was just in, in the pile with the Sailor Moon costume and did not have, um, a home, and that is, this is my, my bodysuit, uh, that is my Twilight Sparkle costume, um, because I do a Twilight Sparkle, my little pony inspired piece, um, there's the, it doesn't currently have an actual, uh, Twilight Sparkle tail, uh, the last time I performed it, I just did this pink and blue tail with, um, one of my pink and blue wigs, uh, because I did not have the money to buy the, the Twilight wig, um, but that's, that is an upgrade that will happen to that piece in the future, um, and there's the, the overskirt, and there are actually still pieces of this that I want to make for future iterations, uh, but that, that is because of the nature of this, this piece of costume, um, and it needing the clip, because what I need to do is put in some hanging straps on the sides so that it can hang, um, but since it cannot at the moment, that's what I chose to do with the other clip hanger, um, I could definitely still use a couple more clip hangers, um, and I just, all of this at the front I sort of reorganized and I went through and I had some unfinished projects up here, and I, uh, as you know, I have a drawer of unfinished projects, and I took those down, added them to my unfinished project list, and put them in the bin of unfinished projects. Um, so that was, that was some progress there, like things that were flying under the radar, uh, Yes, there are many, many bras on here because I am a burlesque dancer, um, so lots of very special bras. Um, 
Uh, so that is everything I organized with $30 worth of organizational materials from Ross. Um, not, not exactly uh, the cheapest amount of money, uh, but also could have been way more expensive, honestly. Uh, <laughs> and that's, that is everything for today. So, you know, uh, from the closet, have a great day, and I will see you treasures next time.